Do you know what a cyst is and how it affects women? A cyst, in essence, is a sac-like structure that can form in any part of the body. Often benign, these formations are notably frequent in women, making it a topic of utmost importance and relevance. Originating in various tissues, they can range vastly in size and cause a multitude of symptoms. This common medical condition is as fascinating as it is widespread. So let's delve deeper and understand the main causes of cysts in women. Cysts in women can be caused by a variety of factors. Let's delve deeper into the common culprits. Hormonal changes often emerge as the leading cause. When the body's delicate hormonal balance is disrupted, cysts can form, particularly in women of reproductive age. This hormonal imbalance can be triggered by a myriad of factors, from stress and poor diet to underlying health conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome. Next, infections. When harmful bacteria manage to infiltrate the body, they can lead to infections that result in cyst formation. This is often seen in cases of ovarian cysts. Lastly, blocked ducts can also lead to cysts. This is particularly prevalent in conditions such as fibrocystic breast disease, where the breast's milk ducts become blocked and fill with fluid. Cysts are complex and multifaceted, but understanding their root causes can help in managing and preventing them. Now that we know the causes, let's move on to the different types of cysts. The world of cysts is more diverse than you might think. They come in many forms and sizes appearing in various parts of the body. Let's delve into a few common types. First, we have ovarian cysts, fluid-filled sacs that develop in or on the ovaries. Women may experience bloating, abdominal pain, and changes in their menstrual cycle. Then there are breast cysts, round or oval structures that often feel like a grape or a water-filled balloon. They can cause discomfort and tenderness, particularly in the two weeks leading up to your period. Lastly, we have skin cysts, small round lumps under the skin, often filled with a substance like keratin or sebum. They're usually harmless but can cause discomfort if they become infected or inflamed. Each type of cyst is unique with its own set of symptoms and characteristics. Understanding these types is crucial, but knowing the treatment options is equally important. With advancements in medical science, dealing with cysts has become more manageable. Today, there are several treatment options available, and these can be broadly categorized into surgical procedures, hormonal therapy, and lifestyle changes. Surgical procedures are often the first line of treatment for larger cysts. These can be as simple as draining the cyst with a needle or as complex as removing the entire cyst through surgery. The type of surgery will depend on the size, type, and location of the cyst. Hormonal therapy is another treatment option, particularly for women dealing with ovarian cysts. This involves taking medications that help regulate the hormones and prevent the formation of new cysts. Lifestyle changes are an integral part of cyst treatment as well. These include maintaining a healthy weight, regular exercise, and a balanced diet. Certain dietary changes like reducing the intake of processed foods and increasing the consumption of fruits and vegetables can also help manage cysts. However, it's important to remember that treatment should always be personalized. What works for one person may not work for another. This is why medical consultation is crucial. Your healthcare provider can guide you towards the most effective treatment plan tailored to your specific situation and needs. Despite these treatments, prevention is always better than cure. So make sure you're taking good care of your health and don't hesitate to seek medical advice if you suspect you have a cyst. So we've learned quite a bit about cysts today. The journey we've taken together has enlightened us about these peculiar formations that can occur in the female body. We've come to understand that cysts are essentially harmless sacs filled with fluid, tissue, or other substances. They can be caused by a myriad of factors, including hormonal imbalances, infections, and genetic predisposition. We've also explored the various types of cysts, from functional and dermoid to endometriomas and cystadenomas, each with their own distinct characteristics. Moreover, we've delved into the realm of modern treatments, highlighting the effectiveness of medicinal therapy minimally invasive procedures and, when necessary, surgical intervention. The crux of our discussion has been the importance of awareness, early detection, and seeking professional medical help. Cysts can be a daunting word, but 
With knowledge and vigilance, we can navigate this terrain with ease and confidence. Remember, your health is in your hands. Stay informed, stay healthy.